Good evening. To begin our family prayer, shall we all sing the hymn, Lead Us, Heavenly Father. Remember your word to your servant. You made me put my hope in it. Your sayings comfort me when I am sad. They comfort me because they give me life. Proud people laugh at me all the time. But I do not turn away from your teaching. Lord, I remember the rules that you made long ago. They make me feel better. I get very angry when godless people turn away from your teaching. Your laws are my songs in the house where I live. Lord, in the night I will remember your name. I will keep your teaching. I do this because I follow your guidelines. Good evening friends. Today we will meditate from the 50th verse of Psalm 119. In this, the author is telling, My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. Your promise preserves my life. Here we see the faith of this author so well. He doesn't say that you are redeeming me from my suffering. He is not telling you are sending your angels to protect me. But rather he says, my comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise, God's promise, preserves his life. In this psalm itself, that is in Psalm 119 itself, he mentions about this, that is, preserving his life for more than 11 times. Very often he talks about this. I do not know what was his situation, but really I think 
he was going through very very difficult situation so he was keep on telling god lord your promise preserves my life this is the greatest comfort in my suffering he says god is there to take care of us god is love god has concern for us this becomes the hope and comfort of god's people we know living in this world especially in this pandemic it is not so easy it is god's grace that is protecting us god's faithfulness is with us that is why he has preserved our life it is very precious in his sight in proverbs 16:17 we read the highway of the upright avoids evil those who guard their ways preserve their lives he is very clear those who guard their ways preserve their lives our ways should be very much in line or with the expectation of god if we continue to do evil things and if you are not able to do righteous and holy things then we cannot expect any blessing from god that is why in proverbs we read those who guard their ways preserve their lives because god will not get angry with them god will not get angry with them rather when they cry to him when they ask him when they plead with him for some favor god opens the heavens and meets all their needs that is the simple reason that we we'll have to lead a holy and righteous life because god is holy when we do not lead a holy life when we pray he will not listen there would be a big gap or wall between us and god our prayers will never reach him and in proverbs 22 verse 5 we read in the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls but those who would preserve their life stay far from them those who would preserve their life stay far from them what is that wickedness wickedness if we love wickedness and we if we follow a wicked ways how can we expect any blessing or protection from god if you really concern about your life let this be your decision let anything happen i will sincerely lead a righteous life see the life of job how he suffered to prove himself to be a righteous person he suffered a lot for what to prove his righteousness it doesn't mean that all those who are suffering are sinners sometimes even to prove that we are good also will have to suffer we have to go through difficulties that is expected but many times when we go through difficulties suffering and pain when our life has come to a stand still especially in this pandemic situation like this then we are very scared we do not know what to do then we think of taking decision on our own we do not want to listen to god then we may get into trouble in ezekiel chapter 7 verse 13 we read that because of their sins not one of them will preserve their life not one of them will preserve their life if we continue to do sinful things 
if we continue to lead sinful life then it is very very difficult to ask god to protect us all of us are very much disturbed by this present situation all of us are going through very very difficult situation our leaders are thoroughly confused they were not knowing what to do all the religious people and those who believe in god are telling god is not happy pray to him ask god to bless us but one thing we forget god will listen only when we repent god is love god is good everything is true but even then just think of think for a moment the story of prodigal son when he came back father happily accepted he was waiting for him but when the son went away he allowed him to go that is god's love option is given to us in this evening let us think for a while how are we going to use the option which is given to us are we going to lead a holy life which would give us long life good life healthy life let us follow that i'm very sure god's blessing will be upon us let us pray loving heavenly father as we live in this world many times many times we are pulled by the power of this world we are very much tempted by the glory of this world we are not able to lead a righteous and holy life because of this lord we can we come under your wrath lord have mercy upon us forgive all our shortcomings give us a new life remove this painful situation from our life the whole world is struggling to come out of this suffering lord we commit all our leaders and we are keeping be with them fill them with your wisdom help them to take the right decision so that we all may live in peace and harmony lord we commit all those who are affected by this deadly virus and you are keeping be merciful let your compassion be felt by them let your healing touch be upon them heal them completely let your grace be upon them bless them lord there are millions of people going through financial crisis we do not know what to do but only you can help lord we ask you to change the situation open the heavens bless each and every one who are living in this world be with them let your peace be upon each and every one of us bless this evening in a very special way help us to take good rest and help us to get up early in the morning to glorify your good name in jesus name we pray amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of father and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all now and forevermore amen god bless you all good night